problem one. Cities A and B are 45 miles apart. So draw A here, draw B here, and we know that this distance is 45 miles. Elisa lives in city A and Beth lives in city B. Now, Elisa bikes towards B at 18 miles per hour. So A goes in the direction of B at 18 miles per hour. And we know that uh, what else? We know that uh, leaving at the same time, Beth bikes towards A at 12 miles per hour. So they're going this way. This is 12 miles per hour. How many miles from city A will they be when they meet? So we're trying to find their meeting point. So let's assume that they meet right here at this distance X. So actually, more specifically, this distance is X. If that distance is X, then that's 45 minus X. So what can we say? We can say that the distance formula is equal to the velocity times time. So that means by the time that Elisa reaches x, that would be equal to her velocity of 18 times her time. But by the time that Beth reaches her meeting point, she would have traveled 45 minus x miles, which is equal to her speed times her time. Now, they, meet, they start at the same time, they leave at the same time. So by the time they meet at this point right here, they both would have traveled a time of t, because it both took them the same time to travel different distances to meet each other. So we have two variables and two equations, so we can solve for both variables. Substitute this to x. So 45 minus 18t is equal to 12t. Therefore, 30t is equal to 45. If we divide 5 on both sides, 6t is equal to 9. Therefore, we can say that 2t is equal to 3. Therefore, t is equal to 3 over 2 hours. So how many miles? Well, that's simply 18 times 3 over 2, which is equal to 9 times 3, which is equal to 27, bringing you to answer choice E.